Around this time of year, it's filled with pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin spice donuts, and the dreadful pumpkin spice candles. Basically anything you can add pumpkin spice to, it's out there somewhere. No matter the love or hate for pumpkin spice, I have to admit, I love when I see it start to pop up because that means the fall season is here and is bringing along many things we collectively enjoy. Like the perfect sweater weather and good candles with the perfect warm scent. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. In today's conversation, I want to tell you about these five incredible candles I'm highly enjoying for the fall season and I highly recommend. On the community tab of this channel, I asked what were some candles you'll be burning this fall and I saw some amazing selections. I can say for sure, you all have great taste in home fragrances. From Harlem Candle Co. and PF Candle Co. to Apotheke, Diptyque, Voluspa, and Virito, incredible selections. My selections aren't too far off. Of course, I do a lot of testing of candles and other types of home fragrances for reviews, but these five scents are candles that will be in my main rotation for this fall season, meaning they'll see heavy use. This year, I'm in a mood for candles that can deliver. I went for the deepest, rich, warm, woody scents that provides a very comfortable feeling in my space. There's plenty options out there that can provide the perfect woody ambiance, so if I didn't mention a scent and you think I'm missing out on something, let me know in the comments. It feels like I haven't featured a candle from Sear Dawn in a while. Usually around this time of year when I reach for a scent from Sear Dawn, it will be something like Ernesto for its fresh woody scent. But this year, I wanted to go with something a bit different and new. I've chosen to go with the Mary scent with its beautiful spicy pepper aroma. This is a fairly new scent from Judon. I believe it was released a couple years ago in the fall season and I had it on my pickup list ever since. I've been hearing great things about this scent so I figured now would be the perfect time to really give it a try and experience it for myself. And let me tell you, this is a very peppery, spicy scent. At first, I was taken aback because the strong pepper scent caught me off guard. You really have to want that specific spicy candle to really enjoy this burn. But in typical Chudon fashion, the other notes complement the heaviness of their scents perfectly. And you will find the same with this Mary candle. The top notes are comprised of cardamom, juniper, and pepper, with heart notes of cedar wood, papyrus, patchouli, and guaiac wood, with a good rounded base of labdanum and moss. Even though this is a heavy, peppery, spicy scent, there's still a smoky warm touch to it that makes this a perfect candle for the fall going into the winter. To really understand this scent, you have to know the story behind it. It's based around Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein, which explains the darkness and spice makeup of this candle and why it's perfect for this time of year. I'm not too familiar with Mary Shelley's work other than Frankenstein, but that's all I need to know to understand this Mary scent. Let me know if you're a fan of hers in the comments. This matte black vessel also makes this candle stand out, especially with the gold Sir Trudon emblem contrast against it. The cold throw of the scent will be moderate, but you can definitely pick up the spice very easy when close by. The hot throw is strong and unfolds beautifully into a scent that's very warm and peppery, suitable for a medium to large size room. Late evenings and night hours is when I reach for this scent. This is really a beautiful, spicy, resinous candle that I'm enjoying. Just remember what I said, you really have to be in a mood for a spicy candle to enjoy this scent. The Mary Candle is not yet available on a Trudon site, but I did find it in other stores like Essence, so I'll be sure to link those in the description. I mentioned the brand of this next candle in a prior video, but this is the first time I actually get to go more in depth with one of their candles. It's the incredible Velvet Fire scent from The Harmonist. The philosophy of this brand is the idea of bringing balance through scent. And if you're familiar with this brand, they have a black and white theme for their fragrances, which represents the yin and yang. You'll notice the same thing with their candles as well. I love this minimal round shape of the vest will definitely look amazing in a modern home. If I had to describe this scent in a physical form, I would describe it as a fine luxury silk, or as the name implies, a warm velvet. It's an intense elegant of a scent with lavender, clary sage, and coriander in the top, with mid notes of silky saffron, tobacco, and cypress, blended with heavy base notes of oud, white musk, and tonka bean. A beautiful mix of notes. My nose doesn't pick up much from the top notes, but I would say the life of this scent is in the mid and base notes, Definitely the base. That oud, white musk, and tonka bean really stands out. I would say this is a strong scent, but not overwhelming. From the moment I put my nose to the scent, I knew it was one of the best warm scents I've ever smelled. The perfumer of the harmonist, Guillaume Favigny, 
Sorry if my pronunciation is off on that, but he has done a great job with these scents. I mean, he only created some of the best fragrances from brands like Parfums de Mali and Valentino. I'm glad Velvet Fire was made into a candle. Hopefully more scents from the Harmonist will be made into candles. The cold throw from this is going to lean towards the stronger side because there are so many Viper notes. Don't expect the cold throw to perform like a burning candle, but it will provide a great scent to its immediate surrounding areas. And the hot throw is also going to be strong, providing a deep, rich, warming scent. Now, something I wish was different with this candle is its size. It's it's only about 7 ounces. It's still great for small to large size rooms in my opinion. If you plan on burning this in a large room, it's going to take a while before you'll be able to smell the scent. It took me about an hour before I started to smell the scent around the room. I feel if it was a little larger and add in a second wick, this will be an incredible performer for a large room or a large open concept. But to be on the safe side, this would be perfect for a medium sized space. That would be my only dislike about this candle. But I understand, this is a fragrance house first before anything else. So the scent itself is like the experience. Other than its size, Velvet Fire is one of the best warm scents for the fall season. Lafco is quickly turning into one of my favorite brands. They have some of the best luxury scents in the candle world, and the quality of the robust hand-blown glass vessels are top tier. If you enjoy Lafco candles, then you know those vessels are robust. And the price you pay relative to the size of the candle and the burn time is a deal comparative to other luxury brands. This season, I'm going with one of my favorites from Lafco, and it's also a cold favorite, the warm, comforting scent of Feu de Bois. If you're looking for the feeling of a luxury vacation home in the mountains, this candle can take you there. From the first impressions of the cold throw, you'll notice that the scent is very piney with mountain spruce and pine on the top notes. I personally don't get much after that from the cold throw, but soon after lighting, the scent comes to life with a deep smokiness of patchouli and sandalwood from the mid notes, and frankincense and amber myrrh and the base. At first, I thought this was too much of a pine scent with the spruce and pine notes, but the warm notes of the mid and base makes this a perfect scent for the fall months. You can even burn this going into the cold winter months. Why not? The performance of Labco is always the same across every scent I've experienced. The cold throw is moderate, but you will notice it when you're close by. The hot throw is strong, that's great for a large size room. This is the 15 and a half ounce size, so performance will be a little different for the other sizes. Labco offers sizes from 1.9 ounce all the way to the very large 86 ounce, which probably can scent an entire home. If you want to set that warm luxury ambiance this fall season, under that $100 mark, Feu de Bois would make one of the best options. I found that I enjoy this scent mostly during the morning and afternoon hours while I'm working or just relaxing. Mostly working though. Teakwood and Tobacco from PF Candle Co. If you're a regular watcher of this channel, then you had to see this one coming. Teakwood and Tobacco is one of the best all around candles for any time throughout the year. But I did notice my use for it increases in the fall season before I switch it out for their spruce scent for winter. This year I'll be burning the large 12 and a half ounce size, which is still under the $40 mark. PF is one of the best everyday candle brands for a reason. I love them because the scents are just straightforward. This has the warm essence of teakwood and tobacco. But at times it does feel like I'm picking up some leather as well that gives this scent more personality. When I was curating this fall list, I knew I had to have this scent on it because it has always worked for me. I went for the large size because if you know, these candles are subtle performers and with the large size, I found that I tend to get a little more out of the scent throw. The cold throw is still moderate. You will notice it a bit more while sitting close by though. And the hot throw is going to be moderate as well, but the wax will have a much longer time to burn because of the size, which means the scent will have more time to perform a little better than the standard size. This would be perfect for a small to medium sized room, but for this price point, you can just get a couple and place them around the room to easily fill the space with the scent. Teakwood and tobacco is the perfect balance between a rich woody scent and comfort. It'll always be my go-to for this time of year. 10 years from now, I will probably still be talking about teakwood and tobacco. Whiskey Nights from Wickers Creek is one of those luxury scents I reach for on those nights of relaxation. Maybe have this burning after a nice dinner while drinking red wine in my dimly lit living room, either listening to music or watching a movie. I recently made a video about this candle, so I have that video linked in the description. Whiskey Nights is a scent that I quickly fell in love with. It has a very unique elegance to it with a touch of booziness that isn't too strong. It has the scent of divano oil, patchouli, and white oak from aged whiskey barrels. Since the review, I've noticed something about this candle. The scents seem to have gotten more depth to it with a strong woody aroma. It definitely feels like it has more personality to it. Or it can just be my mind playing tricks on me. 
I find it quite beautiful though. There's more to the scent than just what's on the surface. From smelling the cold throw, you get this almost sweet woody aroma that isn't too boozy. The cold throw is moderate, but the hot throw is strong that unfolds into something of elegance and luxury. This would be great for a medium to large size room. I'm telling you, burning this candle makes you just want to pour a glass of wine, sit back and relax. And the uniquely shaped metal vessel adds to the overall experience. The detail and quality of the vessel is still something I appreciate every time I go to light it. This is a scent for those night hours. It has a sophistication to it with maturity. Incredible, incredible scent for a cool fall night. Let me know your favorite candle you'll be burning for the fall. I love to see the diversity we all have with home fragrances. Also, let me know if you've experienced any of the candles that I mentioned and if you enjoyed them or not. I'm going to admit, I may not like pumpkin spice candles, but I surely do enjoy a pumpkin spice donut, which is what I'm in a mood for now.